So we're working on the, the wiring harness for the Dakota here and I did go ahead and pick up some brand new connectors and I am literally putting in each each wire at a time. This is super time consuming compared to what I, I usually do but I figured it'd be a good good experience and I know some people want to go ahead and do this this route. It really doesn't end up costing too much. I did make the mistake of thinking all of my um, scrap wire I've been using would work for it. And these these pins are so small that this industrial wire, the shielding, is just way too much. It's too thick to work in these little ECU plugs. So I went ahead and I've been scavenging some wiring out of the, the dash sections of stuff that's been pulled out. Just because it's not been exposed to much, so... It really feels like new. Um, I mean, obviously you can get a whole roll of it, but I didn't feel like waiting a few weeks for that to get here, so I got started with what I had. And anyway, we'll go over to the Dakota and see where we're going to just start this at. And as I've said before, I really like putting the ECU inside the cab. I've just had an experience where a pressure washer was able to penetrate the um, vent on an ALH ECU and it destroyed it. So I just really don't like having them in the engine bay if I don't have to. Keeping them dry and clean is best case scenario. So if we go under here, I've got the ECU. It's pretty tucked up in there, but it's going to be up pretty high, clear up right next to the park brake mount and that gives me a pretty secure place to put it and then the wiring is just going to come down and there's enough stuff in this Dakota I wasn't able to get up high anywhere and it's got a big enough brake booster that that didn't really give me any access around there so I did go ahead let's see if you can see it here I made my plug right down there just below the um well I guess it's just behind the gas pedal so it'll be pretty protected there. I don't really, you don't put your feet there or anything really, or at least I don't. So the wiring will run right across here once all that stuff's up. And then if we go under the hood, there you can see right there in the center the grommet coming out of the firewall or almost the kick panel, I guess. Um, and then it'll just turn and follow the rest of the wiring up there along the back again I'll just leave it separate from the Dakota wiring and then I was gonna kind of go over my process for just getting measurement lengths so I'll just go back to the wiring here so once I had um, pretty well what I was gonna do set up I went and took, so the longest wire I will have will be to the turbo actuator. And so that's the N75 valve. And there'll still be an N75 valve spliced into here for its resistance readings. But what I did is I, I plugged that into that ECU, ran it through my grommet, through the firewall. And then I used this one single wire to get my lengths for all of the different plugs, the coolant. Um, the injection pump and the crank sensor all the way out to the alternator and the map sensor and then again at the end the turbo actuator so that is going to be my template then to base the rest of the wiring off of so I don't have to try to measure each wire specifically that'll get me close enough it is a lot easier just using the, the existing wiring and, and just making that work. But if you want to do a custom setup, this is probably what I would recommend. Like I say, you can definitely get new wiring and probably, I don't know, like I, I usually just do it all the same color, but I suppose you could buy a bunch of different colors if you wanted to. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and keep working on these, on these new plugs here without any of the safety stops in you just go ahead and crimp each connector and and get it all lined up it's definitely 
some tedious work making sure you got the right the right port and and everything so it's a lot of going back and forth and checking the way I make my harnesses using the existing wiring so I can help use the wiring colors as a guide to which pin is right and then double check the pin number it definitely makes it a lot easier but this should be pretty cool and it'll be be nice to have a custom made harness that everything's exactly the length I want it so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and keep going with this and get everything plugged in and show you how it turns out Okay, so I pretty well got it wrapped up here. There's, there's still, I'm gonna finish getting it taped up here after I test it out, but I was just gonna show you guys, I did go ahead and use some shielded wire for the crank sensor and the needle lift sensor because that's what VW used. And then I, like again, I used that one wire to preset all my lengths here for each of these plugs pretty well got them all all done there and got them all plugged into these new ECU plugs so I used my gray wire where I could but a lot of these ones I had to just keep reusing wire because you need about a 20 gauge wire to fit into those maybe 18 um, but I think 20 to 22 is what VW uses on most of these sensors. So, and again, since I'm making this custom, I already know I'm going to be setting up my cruise. So I've got the brake lines and the vehicle speed sensor and all that stubbed out. Um, but, and then I'm actually going to put the N75 valve inside the bay there just so I don't have to deal with it outside I guess because again I'm just using it as a resistor basically and then that's tied into the um, 
actuator plug here, which is the same thing as a mass airflow sensor plug. They're a little different, but mass airflow sensor plug works. And yeah, so I just have a short stubby there for the OBD port, and then doing my same three wire configuration here. We've got a positive to the battery, ground wire, and a key wire. So yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and plug this guy in and show you guys how it works. All right, so since I'm not quite ready to start up the Dakota yet, I got my test beetle here in the shed. It's raining a little, hopefully you can hear me. But I got her set up here, just the three basics plugged in, your needle lift, your injection pump, and your crank sensor. That's all you need to test at least the basic functions of, of your wiring harness. And so I already have the main power going to the battery here. I got the ground up there. ECU is just sitting there. So you can hear whenever I touch the key on, the injection pump will click. And then I got my little starter button here is just wired straight to the starter. And we should have some throttle. Just like that. And key off. So, yeah, since it's raining on me here, I'll probably cut it off here. But that's... That's the harness I'm going to use for the Dakota, so we'll get it buttoned up and get it in there, and hopefully the next video will be starting that thing up. Thanks for watching.